and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today I have a very exciting video for all of us fashionistas because I'm back at you with another haul video. Now this haul is exciting because it is just Forever 21 clothing items. But on top of that, I found everything on sale. There was a store near me and it was having a 65% off sale. So everything I got was super affordable. I know that Forever 21 is pretty good when they do their sales. So I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I picked up at my local Forever 21. And on top of that, a lot of these things are spring clothing items. I don't think I paid anything over $15. A lot of the things I got were under $10, guys. This is incredible. I even got a pair of shoes that I will show you in a bit. So if you love inexpensive clothing haul videos, I think you guys will really love this Forever 21 try on haul video. So without further ado, let's get started. Here's what I bought at Forever 21. That's just one bag, let's dump the other bag out. This first item is in a small, it is, the original price was $24.90, which is not bad for this shirt because it is very pretty, but I paid $8.71. I'm so excited, this was so cute. I almost didn't catch this in store. Like I said, I bought everything in store because they were having crazy deals, and I saw this last minute. It has this really pretty frilly detailing here. The sleeves are these quarter sleeves. It is a crop top because it is quite short and it also has this tie string detailing. I think that this is so pretty and this is the most perfect spring piece to wear because I love this color palette and I'm very excited about the polka dots as well. I actually don't have enough polka dot pieces in my wardrobe so this is something that I'm very excited about. Here is another crop top, again, perfect for spring. This one, unlike the other one, is long sleeve and this is in a medium. The original price is $16.90, which is great. The original prices are not too high, but I paid this $5.91. I cannot believe it. A lot of my outfits are flower print. If you guys follow me on Instagram, when I went to Italy, I had a lot of floral print dresses. I'm even wearing floral print right now. I just love that pattern. It is my favorite pattern. If I'm not wearing something simple, I'm usually wearing floral patterns of some sort. It is this very pretty burgundy red color. It has these very nice pink roses all over it. So it is such a pretty color palette for spring. I like that the neck is a nice long V-neck. It's sort of that tie over pattern again. I think this is so pretty. I love the price guys, you cannot go wrong. This is not a crop top, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm always wearing crop tops. This is in a small and the price is the original price was $22.90 and I paid this $8.01 for this beautiful blouse top. It is actually a generous small for once. Forever 21 actually has a small that doesn't look like triple extra small because their sizes are very tiny. It has these very pretty bell sleeve details that I really like. In my last haul videos, I featured a lot of bell sleeves and I didn't even realize how on trend they were, but they are quite trendy. And I do like the little frilly detail as well. I feel like a lot of my shirts have that frilly detail, but this one goes down the center. Again, it is just a crisp white pretty blouse and that is so nice. It is almost like a staple piece that you just cannot get enough of in a wardrobe. Next, in keeping with the white theme, I guess, why don't we just go right to this pretty shirt. The size is a medium. The original price was $14.90, which is pretty good. And I paid this $5.21 for this beautiful long sleeve. No bell sleeve here, but they do have a frilly detailing on the stomach area. It is going to be a crop top, so down below it is a bit frilly, which is super cute. And it is sort of this wide shoulder look, so you could even almost wear this off the shoulder if you would like as well. I do appreciate that this is a nice wide scoop neck. Sure, it's not going to be unflattering, hopefully by any means. And again, white is such a beautiful color, I love. Next, similar material, we have another medium. And the original price was $14.90, similar to that other shirt, but I paid $5.21. And this, instead of that scoop neck detail, it is a V-neck. I am very partial to V-necks, I love them. This is, again, sort of like a long sleeve. It might even be a bit of a quarter sleeve, but it should be a long sleeve top in this nice knit material, so it is very comfortable. 
The color is this very pretty nude, but it won't be the nude that sort of washes you out because it is almost a peachy nude, which I feel like looks better on my skin tone. When you have a simple color palette, black, white, nude, it's very easy to pair with anything. You can pair it with a lot of fun colors for spring, so I like these as a nice essential piece in my wardrobe. It's almost not even worth showing because it's so simple, but the price was great. The original price is $7.90 and I paid $2.76 for this simple t-shirt. It is in a medium and it is just, I mean, just a simple black t-shirt. It looks pretty true to size, I guess. It doesn't look very long, so it looks a bit short, but I actually need some more t-shirts like this in my wardrobe piece. So again, just a simple black t-shirt that you can work out in or wear every day when you just don't feel like thinking about what to wear sometimes. I love to just throw on a simple black tee and just even pair it with a cute scarf and you also look very cute and ready for the springtime. The original price was $22.90. It had this cross out here, maybe nine. I didn't know the price, but it ended up being a $3.15 and that was so cute for this Barbie shirt. And it just says, whatever, let's roll. <laughs> it almost gave me like a clueless kind of vibe. I think this is just a cute t-shirt. Again, much like that black one, something that you throw on and you're ready to go. You can even work out in these kind of t-shirts. I'm the kind of person who, when I go to the gym, throw in a t-shirt, comfy pair of pants, and I'm ready to go. I mean, I say the gym, but I hate it. I was a huge fan of Super Nintendo. Thumbs up, guys, if you are very familiar with this controller and you've ever played this Nintendo game. This, I guess, was Forever 21 for Nintendo. I found this in the sales section. I'm wondering if they had shirts with the game that I loved playing, but who knows. I bought this specifically because I have been obsessed with Ready Player One. I read the book and I saw the movie. So before I even saw the movie, I had to go and get this shirt. <laughs> this says Super Metroid. It it is just a cool throwback shirt to those 80s, 90s video games that we loved playing from Super Nintendo. This, I took off the tag, I'm sorry, this was a size small. And the price here that I ended up paying was 801. I unfortunately didn't play this Super Metroid game on Super Nintendo, but I was a Super Nintendo addict when I was younger, even N64, I love that. So guys, let me know if you've ever played this game before. And I had the intention of almost wearing this to the movie when I went to go see Ready Player One. Guys, the book was phenomenal. The movie was great. So if you guys haven't already, check out the movie Ready Player One. I think you will love it. I really love the book and I really love the film, so it's hard to say which I loved more. But I like this shirt because it was a cool throwback to those video games and they talk about them and feature them a lot in the book and in the movie as well. So I just had to pick that up. The next item is this dress. Now, since they had crazy sales, it was so hard to find dresses and things like that. The only things left were basically shirts and skirts, but I did find this cute dress and I did get this because I thought it would look really cute paired with my belt. I'm looking for a lot more light outfits for the spring so that I can wear my really pretty belt with them and I love to wear lighter colors in the springtime. And of course, this is a jean material with this frilly detailing. I guess I am partial to these frills, guys, because a lot of things I'm picking up have those, but I feel like they're so pretty and feminine. And this is in a size large. And the original price was $33.90, which is not bad for a dress, but I paid $11.86. So, so far one of the more expensive items, but I think it is completely worth it because it is a dress. So this is an entire outfit and the price was great. I think that because this is a large, the length should be pretty good on me as well. I am basically five foot seven. So a lot of the things at Forever 21 are just a tiny bit too short for me. It's a bit unfortunate, but I guess they're for 21 year olds, who knows? <laughs> this is this pretty jumpsuit. It is of course a floral pattern, no surprise there, but it is this light pink color. It is in the size large. The original price is $26.90 and I paid this $9.41. So I thought that was great for this because if it looks a little bit too short, it can always be used as like a beach cover up. It is that shorts jumpsuit type deal with frilly cap sleeves and these strappy shoulders going on. This can be a good piece for the beach. You can just wear your bathing suit underneath and you're good to go. I have this really pretty baby yellow skirt. This is the cheaper skirts out of the bunch. The original price was $20. I paid $2.45 for this skirt, guys. This is in a size large, by the way, which is good for me, I'm, I hope, I'm pretty sure, because it should be a bit longer. It's, it is a mini skirt, of course, so it will be short, but it should be hopefully not too short on me. 
and I thought that the color was so pretty. It is this baby yellow color and I'm just loving yellow for the springtime. I cheated and I did try this skirt on. I paid this $8.71. This is again a size large. Unfortunately, this skirt is just a little bit too big for me. This is like this skirt and the next one that I'm gonna show you, I actually tried those two on. For some reason, this is just a tiny bit big, but I think that because the pattern is very fall, I could almost wear this come fall time with like a really thick, chunky sweater tucked in, and that should make up for a little bit of the roominess that I have in my waistline. I do like the length, but it is just a touch big. This next one, again, is in a size large. The original price was $22.90. I paid this $8.01. I really don't know why that yellow skirt was so inexpensive. I almost wish that these were the same price, but that's okay, $8 for skirt is still pretty good. Again, much like the camel one, it does have this nice button detailing running down the center. This is in a size large and it does fit very nicely. It is comfortable at the waist and I don't have a lot of jean type outfits. So I thought that this was great. And they do say that jeans are like the Canadian tuxedo, so there you go. <laughs> the original price was $14.90 and I paid this $5.21. It's supposed to fit very tiny so it goes above your ears. It's that really pretty checkered print. Oh, I can't remember the name of this print. Oh, tooth, hound's tooth or something, hound's tooth print. It's like that, that black and white hound's tooth pattern, I believe it's called. And it is just nice to have a nice chic stylish hat every now and then to throw in with your outfit and make it look that much more exciting. The original price was $8.90 and I paid these $3.11. Thinking about the fact that I paid the skirt less than these rings is kind of crazy to me. I thought that these rings were such pretty interesting patterns. They came in a pack of three. The size here is, does it say the size? Seven. I love gold. I'm so partial to gold jewelry. Every now and then I wear silver, but I feel like 99.9% .9 of the time I'm always in gold. So I really like these and you can't have enough costume jewelry to throw in and accent your outfit. Speaking of things that you can just throw in, the price on this was like almost a joke. I didn't realize it was going to be so inexpensive because the original price was $7.90 and then I saw it for $2.99. So I thought maybe that was already the discounted price but they discounted this further and they gave this for 35 cents. It is this pretty pink choker. It almost looks like metallic-y pink. I do not have the color pink in chokers. I love chokers, but I don't have very many different color chokers. I tend to just go for gold in different styles, but this pink one was super cute and for 35 cents, guys, can you go wrong? <laughs> the next accessory is this phone case. I thought that this was quite cute. The original price was $11.90. I paid this $4.16. It basically looks like an ice cream stick with a mirror on it. It is just a pink and it has a clear base so you will see it. It is compatible with iPhone 6S, which is what I have. I'm kicking it old school, I guess, because I feel like they're already on the 10, <laughs> but I still have my six and it's doing just fine. We are on the last item and it is shoes. So the original price is $39.90, which is pretty good, but I paid these $13.96 for these beautiful pair of shoes. I am a size eight to a size nine, so anywhere in between. These are actually a size eight and they fit just right, which is good because I feel like they were pretty much the last pair. What is so cute about them is that they have this thin strap that goes over your foot like this, which I actually do not have a pair of shoes like that, that also have this nice thick chunky heel. So they will be a little bit more comfortable than your average shoe. The thing that made me want to get these is that I love the nude color, but I also loved how they had this very pretty pearl detailing on the back of the shoes. I thought these were so feminine and guys, are not even $14. And these are all Canadian prices, by the way. So these are super affordable. In this day and age where we're always taking outfit pictures and we always want to be wearing different styles, it's really not worth it to spend so much money on our clothing. It's almost better to save up and spend money on nice accessories like purses and bags and jewelry rather than spending so much money on our clothing items which we do want to just change up all the time anyway so I really hope you guys like affordable clothing haul videos I will be happy to make a lot more for you guys in the future please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys every subscriber means so much to me and it really makes my day thank you so much and I hope you did enjoy this springy sale item forever 21 affordable clothing try on haul <laughs> that's a mouthful so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>